Oh my lord, don't jump over it, man. Yeah, Rue's hard drive is faster than mine. I learned recently that if you fail a course in uni three times in Germany, you cannot attend that course anywhere in the country ever again. And that it depends on the university, it depends on your subject, and even the course. It's not the same everywhere. Um, it's not about courses specifically, I don't think. It's really weird, actually, because um, some I talked to someone about that recently. <coughs> so some subjects have a course or like a, a certain exam that you have to pass within three attempts, and if you don't, you can't continue. Like you're out of luck. Um, you can't continue your studies. And that's probably what they're referring to. So it's not. It's not that you can't do it in Germany at all anymore. But it depends. If you go to a different university and let's let's say it's a specific module, um, which they have in one of the subjects, and you fail it. You fail it three times, you can't do it on in that university anymore. But if I go to a different university and they have the same subject, but not the same module, they have something else, maybe. Because they decided, oh, who cares about fucking Shakespeare in English studies? We don't need that in, in our university. <laughs> that's, that's an extreme example now, but I think you get what I mean. Um, then... Then you can study it there, and then you can continue there. You're not gonna get all the credits for... Like, not all the credits are gonna count from, from your previous university. <coughs> Most likely. But if anything's, like, similar enough or equivalent enough, they will... they c can let you in. Not necessarily. I'm assuming some universities will also say, oh, he, he, he failed English studies in that university, and now he wants to sign up for English studies here? That's not gonna go. And then maybe they're, they're just gonna say, nah, you can't do that. But a friend has told me that someone has made it into a different university just because the modules were different. So you're not completely fucked. Italian is a LARP language. What was that? Any, uh, what was that again? I remember LARP from somewhere. Can't put my finger on it. LARP. Go. Yeah, live action roleplay. Yeah, that's the one I know. <laughs> Wait, then what's a LARP language? <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, I remember LARP from somewhere. Um, it was because a different friend of mine, <laughs> she's a translator, and there was one book that she, someone translated and she was supposed to proofread it. And it had a lot of references to pop culture, and there was something about LARP. And then... And then the translator translated it as cosplay or something. That's where it came from. 
And then my friend said, eh, it's not quite the same, but LARP is not exactly as known. Like, like the abbreviation itself is not really known in Germany. Not as commonly, and then maybe cos cosplay is <laughs> close enough or something. That's what it was. Surely not what Bloon meant. Although, who knows? Who knows? Live action roleplay language? No. Oh, let's go. Okay, something I can finally accept. <clears throat> Um, what's most important to test, if you do mom stuff, is hub loads. So if you can go to, just to a different hub area, like after the Coco fight, go to the next area, or go to evil public school, go, go inside the Duminator, stuff like that. If you can check that, and that's a good comparison already. Um, and then there's one outlier, which is always super duper slow on Xbox and PS, yeah, PS2 disc only. Not on OPL. Is the cutscene on your way to Ratsical Kingdom. Where there's some, some ratsicles and some uh, brat girls and they're like spouting nonsense. Uh, that one would also be interesting. Because on OPL the load is instant, basically. But on Xbox 360 it, it's like 10 seconds long. Which is fine because it sort of evens out since the rest is usually faster on 360. On Wii it's also instant. Or like quick, I should say. Maybe not instant, but the normal cutscene length. There's also some slight differences outside of hub loads, but for the most part, considering Omnicontrol, they're rendered very minimal, I'd say. Yeah, it's the one that plays twice in the run. No, it's Polar Express. <laughs> Panda Express. I think I've misread it as Panda Express as well before, but it's Polar. I'm gonna go there now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, Isaac. Welcome back, Sanju. Almost 10 p.m. Yeah, this is definitely my last attempt. Don't get your hopes up. I can very easily kill this run by being bad. No, dude. Still okay, I think. Strap to despawn torpedoes. Yeah, go fast. <laughs> Genuinely, go fast. They will infinitely spawn un once until you reach a certain spot. So just go fast. is gonna take forever now because he's basically on a cycle yeah, fine the first torpedo if you if you just like go really fast the first one is always on the right of that little corridor not corridor canal maybe <laughs> um, so just stick to the left side and go fast sometimes if you're unlucky it will spawn on the left side and not the right one but that may be because you messed up somewhere before I'm assuming I don't know I haven't like actually checked anything in detail here 
Now I'm just playing the game and failing a lot. And that's the only spot, I believe, where they spawn in the first place, so... All you have to do is go fast. Right there, and that's it. And I mean, you always have a mask as well, so... If it comes to the worst, just damage boost through. again. <laughs> oh, that... And that was two hits? That's BS. Ugh. That was like frame one. Oh boy. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I'm gonna carry on. That's spooky. Don't wanna lose my mask that early. But normally if I, I I just lose the mask early and die, or I don't get hit at all. <laughs> That's what happens. So, prepare to die. I almost died. Did you see that shot? Fuck. Okay. the usual protection by saying I'm dead and then I don't die just because I said it works every time <coughs> Vi, yes, Vi indeed One. I don't know what that means. It's probably the name of a tank, right? That sounds like it would be the name of a tank. Don't know, don't care. Don't know tanks, don't know guns. I just know there's a stupid rodent and he's making my life a living hell sometimes. German tank. Then please refrain from the English pronunciation and call it Tiger. No, don't roll the R like that. <laughs> Tiger Eins. <laughs> I 
I don't know, the only other tank experience in video games that I have is... Crash Bash? <laughs> uh, Spyro Fusion. Spyro Fusion has a tank. <laughs> Oh, and GTA 3, of course. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so which one's most similar to the Tiger one? What would you say? You as the local tank expert. Kaboof. That's a gem. Attack with a pipistrelli. Oh, let's go. My favorite level. Got a stream element sponsorship for World of Warships. I think I've seen stuff like or some other like war games in sponsorships before. Maybe not World of Warships, but certainly something along those lines. I don't see the appeal of those kinds of games, to be honest. Like, hyper-realistic war or something, is that really so fun? Well, hyper-realistic in, in terms of the graphical style. The gameplay probably couldn't be further from <laughs> what actual war is like. And not everything needs to have a gun. I say that as <laughs> as I ride a bat with a rocket launcher. <laughs> not everything needs to have a gun. Oh yeah, it was War of Thunder, that was it, right? Oh yeah, shit, you're American, I forgot. <laughs> good point, good point. How silly of me. Ironically, Crash Tag Team Racing has more drive-bys than GTA San Andreas. Okay, I need to focus for a little bit. If I get unlucky, I may die anyway, though. Because some of these uphills can just wreck you. And there's nothing you can do if that happens. Fucked up. <coughs> bye bye, Nino. Smashed into pieces by a cage. I think this is where Cortex got his inspiration 
helpful how to kidnap Aku Aku and Coco and Titans. Just smash a ca cage on them. And there they are, trapped. <coughs> I wonder how that w works in Titans. Because the cage has a bottom, <laughs> it just slams down. They pull it back up, and and they're in there, N not smushed by by the bottom of the cage or something. No, okay. I'm good, Isaac. Looks like this run could go the mile. I forgot my strats for this, so this is gonna be a bit slow. At least I knew the, the diagonal at the end there. Uh, gonna feel a bit like a speedrunner at least. Hello, Crunch. Wait, what the fuck is this? Oh. I didn't recognize the uh, the Italian there. No, Italian is faster. <laughs> it's faster because it has one text box less than English. <laughs> and you can't skip cutscenes, you have to mash through, so it matters. <laughs> Yes, you are, you asked the correct question. Finally. This is not an arbitrary language choice. This this has actual speedrun reason. Believe it or not. Just like Italian is faster in XS by like half a second. <laughs> and that is not a joke. That is real. <laughs> it is real speed. <laughs> and for any percent in XS, it's it's actually tied with German of all languages. 
And Japanese is the slowest. <laughs> Speaking of which, Japanese would be fastest in, in Fusion. Oh boy. Can you please... <laughs> no. It's pretty bad. Yes, everything I just said is true. <laughs> J Purple runs one. Never gonna buy that shit. <laughs> Reminder, I'm playing on the DS. I want PBs that aren't an emulator. And I'm slurring my words. That ain't good. I want non MUPBs, so I'm not gonna import a copy just to potentially save two seconds. But since I'm already playing on PAL, I will play the fastest language that's available to me. Sucks that I lost my mask already. I'm just gonna mash. If I mash, I can't die. Surely. <coughs> As you see me not mash anymore. Love me some lag, you know? My favorite Crash Bandicoot feature next to dropped inputs. <coughs> ok, 
Okay. Time for the RNG boss. Oh! What is this? Oh! Oh, <laughs> that is pretty good. Not gonna say anything bad about that. I think I actually had time to save, <laughs> to be honest, on that split, but... That is a pretty good fight. You don't usually get that kind of Ripto. Okay, one of the hardest levels. I need to focus. Another one of the hardest. This could go south very quickly. <laughs> Those jumps are always quite spooky. Ah, why did why didn't I just go? Okay, do not open this level. to have 50 Wumpa by the end of this. Actually, I don't. I just need to survive. Because I can get 50 Wumpa in the overworld as well. No problem. This is the correct order of levels, at least. So I'm not going to get wrecked by my Wumpa root being a bit too tight. Thank you. 
the end. Yeah. <clears throat> bags Is it a 42? I think so. <laughs> I got I got the Space Chase World Record within my PB guys. I got a 4823. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, no mess ups on the Wumper Root part at least. I didn't quite save all my time where I could, but it, ah, that was fine. So this was Space Chase World Record <laughs> in, in 42 minutes. Yeah. No, good job me. Good job me. I'm 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 so done with this. Justo crash. Yes, justo. Very justo. That first V in Vicarious Visions looked messed up. Did you see that? What the fuck is up with uh, Toby? Wait, some some letters. Look, Jonathan, on and Colin. These are messed up. What what is this texture glitch? I've never seen this before. Are you seeing this? Some of these are just wrong. It's all the names, all the orange ones. First letter is always messed up. That is interesting. I've never seen that in my life. Who is Brian 50%? What the fuck? <laughs> what are these names? <laughs> or was it Brian Socks? <laughs> I don't know. It, it looked like a percent sign to me. Oh my god, that is so weird. Anyway, that's cool. I'm happy with this. Can I finally stop playing <laughs> Crash Fusion? Oh my lord. This took much longer than I thought. But 42, 34, that's pretty good. Uh, what's the record again? It's 41, 25, so I'm just about a minute off. I can't do that. And I knew I couldn't. Do the last names keep duplicating? I think maybe there were a couple of a couple of relatives uh, there. I don't know. Maybe Vicarious Visions is quite the uh, incestuous uh, little um, company. I don't know. <laughs> Unlocked your Wii so you could play Pal Brawl. Is Pal Brawl faster than non Pal? TRG? Are the credits messed up? I've never, like, actually checked the credits. <laughs> BB, yeah, it's a, it's a team of inbred mountain folk. Yeah, I, I think so too. It has one exclusive skip. That is funny. But I mean, Look no further, we have Bash, you know? <laughs> Same thing. 
one fucked up MM code and, and suddenly all the any percent speedruns are 10 minutes long. Wait, this is wrong. I ottenuto una nuova figurina. Figurina? I didn't get a figure. Surely the word for, in Italian for card is carta or something like that, right? Are you... <laughs> are you collecting figurines <laughs> in the Italian localization? Except they're still cards. That is wrong. Wait, let me look it up real quick. Just so I'm not messing up. Oh, it's carte. Even. Oh, wait, no, that's uh, plural. So, uh, singular should be carta. Yeah. But that could also be a map. So, wait. Like a collectible card, like a trading card. But uh, surely that's also carta. No, please. Oh, wait. That is strange. Well, according to context reverso, figurina also shows up in that uh, without meaning. That is curious. What about other pages? If I if I if I Google figurina Yu-Gi-Oh, is it gonna give me? No, it actually. I mean, it's too close to. <laughs> I put Italiana. Towards now. What do you say? Oh my god, I, I believe Figurina is actually correct then. Or well, can be correct. Let's say. Whoops. That is strange. Learn something new today.